Hey guys, Pedro929 here. Gonna bring to you today a little video on uh, two bike pump uh, for uh, mountain bikes or you know anything with heavy volume. So I'm just gonna bring to you a little head-to-head -head comparison between those two because it's always fun to know which one is the best. And you know I'm always looking for the best product to use in everyday life. So for bike pump, it's the same. So. One is the Blackburn Mamau Any Valve. Let me show you guys a little close up so you guys can see. Let it focus. There you go. Mamau Any Valve. So, a uh, nice little bike pump. Uh, you can just open it up here and I'll show you guys this after, uh, after I put it back and zoom out. So, and this is the Lysim Flex Hose. So, Lysim Flex Hose uh, Sports Drive High Volume. So, uh, put that uh, in the description below put the uh, the annotation where you, onto to the website and the hose itself so let me back out a little bit so let me zoom back out here and let's go back here so what I'm gonna do is I should probably go one up a little bit better up so let me just bring that up I'll probably edit that out so in the video alright then that's way better so what I'm gonna do guys is uh, just take the hose uh, I mean I got a uh, tire that I had a flat on I just put some tapes and it's pretty much sealed up so the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take uh, one of the two pumps so this is the Blackburn I'm just gonna show you guys how it works you just open it up you just flip it and then you can you know pump it like that and it's an any valve system so you just put it in you just flip it and it's supposed to create a good seal so as soon as you flip it open so I'm gonna put it on the ground I'm gonna try to keep watching the um, the camera so I can stay in the angle so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the valve here make sure it's seated in deep that's what she said alright so that's that looks pretty good so if I go all the way there so now if I flip it open it should create a good seal so technically so now if I start pumping let me guys see if you guys are in the frame yeah so if I start pumping I want to see how much time it's gonna take for the tire to uh, just completely expand around right so I'm gonna measure how much pump so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So about 30 pumps to get it to where it's fully round and I didn't even have a good seal on it so that thing didn't produce a good seal so I, I would have to retry this test damn that thing is a piece of crap uh, anyways you guys might look at it but I don't really like this uh, this pump so this is the Blackburn Mamo any valve I got this because I had a good price on it but to tell you the truth I really much like the lights a lot better so what I'm gonna do now is gonna compress the tire back up take as much air out as I can so just gonna compress it out and take out all the air here so try to stay in frame while I'm doing it I'll try to put it back at the same spot that the other one was so nice wrinkly and no air in it so, so I think that's the best I can do alright let's get it back out now let's see with the Lysim. So the Lysim is way better for a couple of reasons. Uh, you just take off the cap, it's got a cap on both hands, but one of them contains the hose. So the hose is contained inside the tube here, so which is a great design So uh, in itself. The only thing is the O-ring. I wish they, they would you know, give you some spare O-rings because that those little things might, uh, you know, you got one on each side, so these little things might um, get lost or you just might tore one off. So, this way to give you some replacement o-ring so now you got two sides you got the Schrader and the Presta so 
let's look here you got the uh, Schrader on this side and the press down the other one so what you're gonna do is take the, pre the uh, Schrader side and plug it in if you were to use the uh, the Schrader you put the Presta side in so vice versa you guys get it so uh, you just uh, screw that, this uh, Schrader side in so you have the Presta side on the other side here so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it inside and you're just gonna you know screw it in so basically we just screw it in like that so click now it's screwed in, in place it's got a good seal it's not going anywhere so let's see with this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so pretty good fifteen and it's nice and snug and just to redo this test so 15 on this one now I'm gonna take it off so look at that I got a little bit of pressure I'm gonna go five more there you go five or six more and I'm gonna take it off just to show you guys the the good pressure to get in so so this tire like I said it's got a flat but I'm I repaired it a little bit with some tapes it's not useful for a road going but see you didn't lose much air there so let's put that on the side let's see how much air is there in there So you guys can hear that there was a lot of air that was in there so only 15 shots uh, the other one well it wasn't conclusive so I'm gonna retry with the Blackburn just to be fair because the Blackburn is just a hassle to line up the um, I'm just gonna compress the tire back to its maximum state of no more air in there so here we go it's pretty good so let's get back with the Blackburn and try to align that damn freaky little valve man that's why you're losing so much air with the Blackburn when you're doing that so let's see where is that freaky valve man come on align yourself right there now you keep pressing it down you're gonna flip that open like that now I should have a good seal so to speak so let's open it up and let's see again so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen fifteen twelve do I still don't have a good seal with the black with the black worm, so let's try it one more time then I'm gonna conclude this test because now it's really getting annoying. And after that I can throw away this old tire so or try to repair it, but it's a pretty big uh, pretty big tear in the in the tire itself, so this is open up to the maximum. Alright, let's try to get one more good seal in there because this this is really getting annoying. So uh, so this is why I like the Lysen better. You don't have to mess around to find the, the hole. So I'm going to sell that pump back like 10 bucks. Maybe somebody can use it for a press, uh, Schrader valve or something because the Presta is not working all that great. So let's see. Oh yeah, now I'm getting now I'm getting a good seal. Now I'm, you have to press it really hard to get in there. So I forgot. I haven't played with that thing in a long time. So let's go back out and watch it. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two and about twenty two so I could have flipped it around and it's got as much pressure as the Lysim maybe maybe a little bit more than the Lysim but um Overall, uh, you know, I just prefer. Come on out, you motherfucker! All right. So, as you guys can see, the pressure was in there. So, but anyways, uh, you know, between these two pumps, there's one obvious winner in my book. Um, you know, I, <laughs> the Blackburn is is a style of pump, which personally I don't like. Uh, the fact that you're putting pressure on the on the valve. On the valve stem, so when you're uh, 
when you're pumping. Uh, with the flex hose, uh, you, when you're, you got it uh, twisted in there, you can move the pump around too much and it's not going to put that much pressure on the valve, so way easier. And it's easier, especially if you got a shredder that's not like a press tie, it's not, it doesn't have a little ring to be, uh, to be stuck, you know, hold, holding the valve to the rim. So uh, it's a little bit easier with the Lysen pump. So hope you guys find that interesting, found, found the video interesting. So I'm going to review the video, see if it's all good. And I'm going to upload it after that. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys on the next one.